Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are going to solve DSE 2014 question paper that is Delhi School of Economics Entrance Examination. Here we will solve part 2 which consists of questions from 21 till end that is question number 60. We have completed part 2 one in our previous videos so now we are going to start with part 2 so let us begin with our first sum that is question number 21 so question 21 says limit n tends to infinity root over n with power 1 by n okay so this n root n means n to the power 1 by n so we need the value to this equation so let us begin with our solution here we will have limit n tends to infinity n root n equal so we can write this in form of e and log using e and log as you know e of ln 1 is equal to 1 here e and ln gets cancelled out and we are left with the value so we can put that here so this can be written as limit n tends to infinity e ln and in bracket we will have n root n so seeing this we can also say that our limit can go in the exponent form here limit can go in the upper part because limit won't play any role in e because we have no n term with associated with e so limit plays role in ln part because here we have only n so our limit will go in the power of e so this can be written as e limit n tends to infinity ln then we have n root over n so you can see here as i said n root over n refers to n to the power 1 by n so when we put log on both sides here we will have log so this will be written as 1 by n log n because here we have 1 by n in the power and uh, as we know log of a to the power b can be written as b log a so that is what i applied here hence we will get 1 by n log n so this can be replaced here we will we will have limit n tends to infinity 1 by n ln n so now we can apply l hospitals rule you must be knowing about l hospital rule so let me apply l hospital rule here we will have n tends to infinity this part 1 by l ln ln of n will be replaced by 1 by n square and it will go on we are applying l hospitals rule you can refer to our other videos for knowing this theory and directly applying it here so we will get e to the power limit n tends to infinity 1 by n square so if we consider only limit n tends to infinity 1 by n square and so on we can see that when we replace n from infinity we will get 1 by infinity and so on so 1 by infinity will always give us a 0 therefore we are left with e to the power 0 which is equal to 1 anything to the power 0 is always 1 here we have e to the power 0 it doesn't matter what the base is but anything to the power 0 will always give us 1 hence our answer to this question is 1 that is option number c hence c is the correct option to this question so let's move on to our next question that is question number 22 so question 22 is a bit similar question but we will solve this a bit differently because of the presence of this trigonometric term so the question is limit x tends to 0 x square cos 1 by x so if we put 0 directly in place of x we will get a value which is equal to 0 because we are multiplying cos 1 by x with x square so this is not possible we cannot put 0 in place of x square so we need a different formula a different process of doing this sum so let us first consider the trigonometric part which is the toughest part in this question a bit of complicated so what is the range of cos theta range of cos theta is as usual from minus 1 till 1 now what we can do is here you can see x square is multiplied with cos theta so here we will multiply x square in all these here it is x square 
cos 1 by x less than equal to x square. Now you can see we have limit extends to 0. So let us put limit extends to 0 also. So this is extends to 0 minus x square limit extends to 0 x square cos 1 by x less than equal to limit extends to okay so this is 0 and not infinity here we have x square yeah so now you can see we have limit extends to 0 minus x square so now here we can put the value of uh, x square equal to 0 because we are not applying this property in our main equation but we can apply this property in the corresponding equations so we will directly put the value of x is equal to 0 so putting the value of x equal to 0 we will get simply a 0 less than we will keep this as it is that is our equation of the quotient this is what they are asking here we have limit x tends to 0 x square cos 1 by x less than equal to similarly here also we will put 0 in place of x and we will get a 0 so you can see in this equation a value which is greater than equal to 0 and also less than equal to 0 so greater than 0 and less than 0 cannot happen simultaneously so we will take equal to on both the sides hence the value to this equation is 0 extends to 0 x square cos 1 by x will be equal to 0 so our answer will be 0 that is option number b hence option b is the correct answer to this question so I will like to end this video here. You will find solutions to the further questions in our next videos.